Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. This is part two of the restoration of a pedal tow truck. And as you can see, all the parts are back from powder coat. So today is assembly day. The first thing we're gonna do is the wheels and the tires. These are reproduction tires. And you can see they don't fit on there real well. So there's a very unique technique of getting these new tires on the rims. For that, let's go to the microwave. I think something's finished. It's smoking and it's hot. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, I should have gloves on. Wow, this is hot. Two minutes on high, you kind of work it around. And look at that snaps on there. Just keep working it so it's evenly spaced all the way around. Both check both sides. One done. Three more to go. So here's a look at the old tire and a new tire. Quite a difference. With all four tires done, now we move on to the assembly of the steering mechanism. Here's the steering shaft. And that gets assembled. The two steering shaft brackets get mounted. Like I said in the first video, Take notes of where the parts come from. So we're adding three new cotter pins today. Now I'm not gonna bend the cotter pin all the way back onto itself yet, just in case I have to take this apart. I've done this enough times that sometimes parts go in and out quite a few times. So with the body upside down, now we put the front steering bracket assembly into the frame. So the hardware I'm using is all stainless steel, 1024 button head cap screw with a washer, this goes on the outside of the body. This is what you're gonna see. That looks pretty nice. On the inside goes a nylock nut, stainless steel, of course. You can't see underneath there, but it's kind of a struggle until you get one started. Now we just work our way around the frame, doing the same. Next is the wheels. The trick is to have these three slots facing outward. That's for the hubcap. First, we put on a stainless steel washer. The wheel. A second stainless steel washer. And then the cotter pin. With the two front wheels finished, now we move on to the back. Let's flip the car around. Now we're working on the back drive mechanism. The wheel on the left has a slot, and this is a drive wheel. And that wheel is driven by this cotter pin. So this has to go on the left-hand side. At the same time, we put these holes over the pedal brackets in the front. With the drive shaft brackets placed over the pedal brackets, now we can bolt this all together. Now, before you tighten these four bolts down, you gotta put the wheels on. So the left-hand side goes on first. And the right-hand side, washer, wheel, washer, cotter pin. With all four bolts tightened down, 
and the rear wheels on. Now it's time to turn our attention to the pedals. The pedals go on like everything else. Washer. The pedal. Washer. And with that, we got action. This is the original plastic steering wheel. It has this paint on there. I couldn't get all of it off. I thought about using it for a second, and I said, no, I'm going to get a new one. And this is a new steering wheel. And this all bolts together with some brand new stainless steel hardware. With the new steering wheel attached, if this was your regular pedal car, we'd be all finished at this time. But this is a pedal tow truck that has some unique features. Next, we're going to install them. Well, this being a tow truck, when you have the boom on the back and you're towing, you need a counterweight for the front. So what I made here was a bumper. I made a bumper out of eighth inch by one hot rolled steel. Once again, it gets assembled with stainless steel hardware. Due to the contour of the sheet metal, I didn't want the bumper rubbing the powder coat. So I made a black nylon bushing that's gonna act as a spacer. So here's a bumper before installation. I think it looks pretty cool like a 50s bumper off of old tow truck. With the bumper all tightened down, let's take a closer look. The last custom part to this tow truck pedal car, to really make it a tow truck, is this custom made boom. And that's gonna bolt on the back here. I'm putting these nylon washers in between the body of the car and the boom. That way, if any water gets in here, it wouldn't sit in here and get trapped and cause it to rust. Now we're moving up to quarter 20 flathead cap screws. Four of them. Underneath the body, I have aluminum plate that's drilled in tap quarter 20. And that's going to hold that down. Well, the boom's all assembled. Let's take a closer look. With the assembly complete, in the next video, we bring it back from the pinstriper and we wrap this one up. This is the money shot. I just got it back from the sign painter. The body was powder coated orange and he did all the pinstriping and sign painting on it. I think he did a beautiful job. The HD towing is for heavy duty towing and that's what this tow truck is gonna be doing. I went with a diamond plate here in the back to try to give it that 50s gas station look. And I think that was achieved pretty good. I love this in the back. Need a lift. This is MKE Gadgets. Thank you for viewing. Please share this with your friends. And please support me by subscribing to my channel. Thanks. See you tomorrow.